Welcome back, perros. I got another Teenagers magazine. Um, and yeah, this one's um, icy fresh, you know, because it's blue. But yeah, I didn't even notice the, the guy's face in the back when I first saw the magazine. I only saw like the chick's face and everything else kind of got blurry in, in the back for me. But now that I'm <laughs> taking a closer look at it, it's kind of funny to see the guy. He's all angry. And the chick's just like, cool you know and there's like paper being ripped and that way you can see everything that's going on inside but I still can't really tell what's going on it's just hard to read the flowers are kind of are kind of hard to read um, I don't know what's going on below the heart there's a heart and then there's a little I can't tell if there's a gun right here or what's that supposed to be a steering wheel a fence and the guy's face just looks hella big way bigger than the chick's face so kind of like a separate kind of thing going on but yeah um another teen angels 152 let's get into it And here we are, starting off strong with two, two, uh, I think, pen, black point pen drawings. And it says, Tony, Tony Perez, Tony Perez, from Carson City, Nevada. And I think this is another artist that I've been seeing a lot in the, in the last few issues. Tony Perez, I was looking for pen pals and yeah he's a really good artist and there's a little signature right here T Perez 97 so there's already late late 90s Teen Angels magazine and then right here you got a drawing by Blue Horse same 1997 and I think Teen Angels just added everything else around Ooh, starting off with some pictures. El Junior from XV111 Street. And the one on the left is Big Time, Old Crime, Glanton, Ganga. On the bottom, Chubbs, S, BVS, 18th Street. And on the bottom says 18. And then on the right, United States Penitentiary. And you got some people blending in with the brick wall in the back, but I blame the photographer. And these pages, you know, they're all like kind of like average kind of paper kind of feel like old school newspaper and then you got dudes looking for pen pals damn these foods are hella dark <laughs> You got some drawings, some poems, and some letters in memory of my abuelos. And then on the bottom, R.I.P. Spider. God's news and loving memory of Ezekiel, mi abuelito. You got We Sell Teen Angels magazines in Maxi Mart. A poem called Mis Barrios. Mismos Barrios. Our neighborhoods are really the same. And it starts off saying, A homeboy was shot last night, and I was there to see the blood, the pain, the look of death, the feeling of agony. As I look at him, my blood ran cold. 
I felt hatred and revenge. Evil filled my soul and explosion grew within. Yeah, so all this paper is kind of like thick. It's like thick, kind of like newspaper kind of feel. But pretty cool. I really like how this um, magazine is really, really clean. And on the right, we got Alejandro O. Lopez. And see this drawing? It looks really close to something that Teen Angel would draw. But I, I w if um, if his signature wasn't there, I would have guessed it was Teen Angel. But but luckily we do have his, his signature, and man, there's a lot of little dots. And one way I've seen people do these little dots is either with a tattoo machine, and they kind of um, make modifications to it where they could put a pen in there, and then. So they take out the needle, put in the pen, and then they turn it on, and the little pen is just going up and down, and it, it's easier to, it's easier and faster to make the little dots, the stippling. But you know, people that that, that don't know how to use that, how to make that tattoo machine, they gotta do all, all by hand. So this was just going, pa 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 pa, you know, um, just going um one dot at a time. And then, um, yeah, on the bottom you got the two stripes, three dots. Let's keep going. You got Smokey, Fuyaba, San Quentin, W, N Owl, and Toker, San Diego. Something Zone, Lazy Boys, Rick Steck, Puppet, and Burbank, Pretty Metals. Send your photo in to Chain Ninja. And then this is my type of stuff. Got pen pals again, Mr. Tony Perez. Mr. Tony Perez, gotta, gotta get used to saying that last name Perez. I'm not hardly ever say that that name again. Nevada State Prison, Carson City, and another guy called Zuniga Vargas Eugenio, Big Spring, Texas. The New Giants Prison Art Book is number one. Ask for it where you buy Teen Angels. Man, I think I've seen this online on eBay. I think it's a fat book and um, it's always hard to buy because it's always pretty expensive. If anybody want to donate, hit me up. Send me an email. If you want to send me an email, you can go to my um, about section and then just get my email from there. But it's Rochi, Ro Rochi Roach zero one at gmail dot com. If you're trying to get rid of some teenagers magazines or any magazines in general, you get a nice drawing of just the uh, the head and agony and the ecstasy. Eighteen and over, please. Jaime Pineda. Crescent City, CA. A lot of Cal Californianos. And poems that have words that are too hard to read. We got a bunch of ads right here. Discoteca, Disco Azteca, El Dorado Market, Cocina Juanita, Aztec Princess. Oh, this is an ad looking for the Aztec Princesses. And it says, Teen Angels is looking for an Aztec princess. Send photos. Winners will get a free Teen Angels magazine with your photos in full color. Movie producers will be checking you out. Halloween costume photos. Okay. Girls under 18 get parents' okay signature. 
and to, and then there's a cool little drawing. And I don't know, maybe you guys have um, a magazine where they do show Aztec princesses. That'd be sick. And my boy is WBP, Wetback Power. Gameño, Rascal, Sureños, Barrio, WBP, Trece, Tapuro, Sureño, Can't Read the Bottom, Town, Rifa. Cool. And then you got a brick wall available for anyone to use. You got 18 something. Teen Angel, P.O. Box, Rialto, California. And you got a little home girl with a bike. You got more little hit ups. Dedication, dedications, dedications, no breathing. Cool little drawings. Florencia Trece controla en Guanatos. Santa Chila. I've heard of Florencia Trece from music videos on YouTube. Somos Barrio BST LKS Sur Trece Snoopy 2 and Beware San Diego Oldest Town Around Got poems by Teen Angel Readers Another pen pal, Jay Leon. And this guy is in. Can't really tell. It's a P.O. box. Oh, Teja Chapi. Teja Chapi, California. I've heard of that place before from another Teen Angels. And serious and passionate and mature ladies. Right with photo. And then boom, he we got the glossy, they got the good paper out now. And they got Lonely Grumpy Tumor, or Junior, <laughs> my bad. TDS, Scrappy. And you got Los, can't read it. And then Plaza, San Lucas, Arisa. Herencia Trece, Casper, Wero, Rang Ranger, or Wrangler. And you can read the other ones. Little Payaso. Oh, yeah, Little Payaso. Cool. I think I've seen this dude before. The one right here on the bottom, on the bottom right. I just don't know where I've seen it. Somos Drifter and a bunch of names. DGF. That looks cool. It looks like they're into, I don't know if that's a graffiti game. DGF. You got a people of all colors right there. You got a black dude, two black dudes. I think you got white dudes in there. For sure, some Mexicans. And you got. Faller Fallbrook. I think I've seen that too in another magazine. 343, 
14 DGF. Yeah, this one's like hella mixed rasas, DGF. That's really cool. I've always heard of games that have multiple races in it. And yeah, this one, like this, these two pages were really good. The the people are easy to see. The pages are easy to to read. And yeah. You got um more little hit ups. South side C V and the centerfold. I guess I'll let you see it like that. I don't know when if you want to turn your iPad around. And also have it like this. Team Angel. Bad dude. Hella bad. Taking all the little peacocks. I've ha I have some tattoo magazines, but I don't think I've ever seen like a image like this. Like it would be cool to see an image like this in real life, like in a photograph of a real life person with their black and white tattoos and, and like that. But in a freaking magazine, dude, that'd be freaking sick. And if you notice the girl's cheeks, they're shaded with stippling, you know, the little dots. But if you look at her shoulder, where her shoulder connects with her breast, you'll see a different kind of shading, cross hatching and hatching. And it's really cool just to see the different kinds of techniques this guy used. And in the background, also stippling. And he left the ribbons blank so the reader could just write whatever I've never seen another drawing like this this explicit or even this um yeah I don't know I don't know what all these artists on Instagram are are waiting for. I think the world is waiting for another teen angel. Hella bad, dude. Got another another little hit ups. Got a little cool drawing. Some guy wearing Nike. It looks like a little skeleton character. UCT 408 CA. My little bombita in the back. And then you got more color drawings. Hell yeah. You got VST LA. Barrio Vicky's Town. Trece. I think I've, I've seen them before as well. 90s. The last little era before the internet hit. Got some happy dude. And his shirt, if you can read it, says rolling hard. Pretty sure it says rolling hard. Pen pals. Patrick G. And his address is the Teen Angels address. And you got Blith Street. I've seen these fools before. Inano, Spider, Lonely One, Crazy Duke's Click, and you got Wiscovina, Trece Gang, SGV, again with the DGF, South Hayward. Blith Street and a bunch of other dudes and then we'll move on 
your oldies headquarters. Discoteca Hacienda in Hayward, California. Johnny Chingas se me paro. I've heard of Johnny Chingas, and I guess it's a cool, um, a cool little um, she where I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna use this to find more music. See, you got, you got Clanton Sur 13. Somos locos, pero locos. Somos pocos, pero locos. Bad times, little clown. And a little dude where you can draw your own stuff on it. Ocho cero cinco langas. Hey, eh? got noble knights world, all crazy little hieroglyphics. Sandra from San Bruno, Southside 13, Compton 1. Is Compton 1 the same thing as Compton? We got a bunch of little drawings, LRZ. Cool little dedications. Rick Chavez and another little um, blink one and the guy with the pencil holding his arm same guy as the one in the front oh no that's from last from last week's episode and a little thank you note from Teen Angel my boys went back power Los Malos F13, Florencia, more, more pen pals, Terry Martinez, Gatesville, Texas, and the first, the first letter on the top left to Teen Angels 1. Teen Angels magazine is one of the best things that has happened to me since birth. Thanks, Mr. Time can read it. And you got a big ass drawing by Webback Power. Monte Trucha con el barrio no te no te avisamos nosotros te matamos. Y si quieres pedo, te lo sacamos. Ha ha! From Big WBP. Sick. Somos mojados, México. Something. Caras de. Something. Alright. Cool. Cool, man. Got little drawings, more more letters, a lot of words to read. Another message to Teen Angel. More, holy shit! Trying not to cuss. How to send in dedications. More. You got. S W N E Carnales Rifa
Monica, aka Miss Pretty Eyes, the Atwater, is looking for pen pals. And got a girl. I'm Veronica Ramirez, better known as La Sad Girl. All you guys who like to draw into poetry, send a letter along with four stamps. Damn, I'm pretty soon sure she's gonna have a whole little collection of gang art on her wall. Lourdes Velasquez is looking for mature pen pals. Which one is she? The one with the hearts and arrows pointing at her? New Mexico, number one. Yeah, those chicks look cool. Too bad. And the photo they, they sent in is in really bad quality. You got rugs and pichardo. This is a collage drawing. And um, you may think, or yeah, you may think it looks easier to draw just because um, the subjects in the drawing are really well done and they're kind of like, they look kind of good, but kind of like, goofy in a sense uh, notice how there's no white spaces in, on, on the page everything is taken up and that's really hard to do sometimes as an artist you're drawing and then you don't know what to draw and you leave it blank but so when I see a collage piece I kind of have to appreciate the the time because these guys go from like drawing a girl with a gun to numbers to brick wall with a guy inside of a fence or behind a, behind bars and then on top of that they have a little scene of a little city a little skeleton they have a jail cell with a guy and his hands are cuffed and they have a little radio and then a little explosion and then a girl kissing a guy and the hair and the wrinkles on the shirt and then another guy um, with a gun and there's like shading in the background a little ribbon going like there's so much stuff going happening and that's how I appreciate um, collages because usually I I draw stuff like maybe like this up here where it's just like three three subjects and the background is blank and just words and there's a lot of white space around versus this no white space everything's used up so that's my take on that See, like right here, the pinup of the girl with the mask. A lot of white space around her, but it's just a different style of drawing. And if you notice her hair, her hair, the artist, they drew every single little strand of hair. But there's other techniques to it. And there's another technique to do it, like how this guy did it. If you notice, um, he didn't draw every single little um, strand of hair. He kind of um, shaded it and left parts of it blank, and that's how that's how it looks good. It might even be faster. And you got another um, another pinup of um, the guy and the girl. I think we've seen them in the two issues ago where. You can draw out the tattoos on them. Really cool. I'm not sure if it's the same one or if it's a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna have to look back. We got lit lighter shade of brown. And that's how it ends. And you got a cool, a cool, a cool back cover. And, um, these pictures are like the kind of pictures that you see on ve Veteranas and Rucas on Instagram. A bunch of these like glam portraits over where you can go to the mall and take your picture. And it's like a, that old school field, you know? And that's it. That was Teenagers Magazine 152. Let me know what you think. Peace out.